There is no greater repository of the living history of a community than exists in its early buildings. Brick, stone and timber reflect the social, cultural and economic life of days long gone. And this is particularly so in Tasmania, Australia's second oldest state, where beautiful and historically significant buildings abound. This production is a celebration of the rich cultural heritage that is so much a part of Tasmania. Not just the grand homes and public buildings of our cities, but the humble cottages of the workers, the split paling cabins of the early farmers, the outlying settlements which once held the hopes and aspirations of our early pioneers. In December 1642, Dutch explorer Abel Tasman anchored his ships Heemskirk and Zeehan in a cove off the southeast coast of the island, which he named Van Diemen's Land, in honour of the governor of Batavia. He sent the ship's carpenter ashore to plant a flag commemorating the visit, and then set sail across the Tasman to New Zealand. Tasman did not see any Aborigines, but reported some signs of habitation. The following century, Tasman's discovery attracted other explorers. Marion Dufresne, Cook, Bly and D'Entrecasto and Hayes among them. In 1798, Matthew Flinders and George Bass proved Van Diemen's Land was indeed an island and continued south to explore the Derwent River, Bass celebrating Christmas Day by climbing Mount Wellington. The Derwent had been explored by Lieutenant Hayes in 1793, but it was not until the French started showing interest in the island in 1802 that Governor King in Sydney decided that the British flag should be raised here as soon as possible. <laughs> 